Hey everyone, I have a video today that will help impact your business, your income, and increase your recruiting efforts. Now, I just got off of a team call and our focus tonight was centered around two words, posture and approach. So what is posture? Well, posture is pretty much how you carry yourself. It's your demeanor. It's your self-confidence when you speak with people. So when you are looking to expose someone to your business opportunity, how you say things is just as important as what you say. So you wanna make sure that you are speaking with authority, that you're confident because people really respect this and it does command a lot of attention. So when we talk about posture, we wanna really set the bar really high and be in charge because part of being a leader is being able to be in charge of your business yet at the same time also be able to command attention. So when we talk about posture, these are some of the things that you wanna make sure that you exude so that you can attract high, high quality prospects. Now the second word was approach. So let's talk about your approach in your business. Now in the case of recruiting, what do you say when you want to expose people to your business? That's the next thing that I wanna talk about because oftentimes when people go out into the marketplace, they're not quite sure what to say to people or even how to say it. So there are some simple things that you can say to people that will pique their attention, especially if you're looking to recruit. So this right here is gonna be more for someone that's looking to bring in business partners onto their team, not so much just retailing. Here is something that I typically use myself when I'm speaking with people. And I think it's a good idea to be very direct and straightforward so that you don't start stumbling all over your words and getting you know, kind of fluttered because you wanna be very direct in what you're talking about. So sometimes when I'm out, what I'll say to people is, do you keep your income options open for making making an additional income. And I stop right there and I listen and wait for them to give me an answer. And I'm watching their posture, I'm watching how they look, I'm watching you know, whether they're looking directly at me. It gives me an idea of whether or not they're open or whether they're not open, regardless of what they say. Because sometimes people don't wanna tell you the truth. So I stop and I listen. Now, another way that you can rephrase this is you can say, would you be open to take a look at what I'm doing if it doesn't interfere with what you're already involved with? And the great thing about this is that people are always involved in something. I mean, people work every day. You have people that have businesses. People have busy lives. They're always doing things. So you don't want to impede on people's time and you want to make sure that you are respectful of it. So I always ask if they are interested, if it doesn't interfere with what they're doing. Because people don't want these outside things interfering if they don't even know what it is yet. Because obviously, they haven't watched the video or your presentation yet. Now, this conversation can go two ways. It could either be, yes, I'm very interested in your business opportunity. Then from there, you can say, well, fantastic. You can go ahead and say, if I sent you a 15 minute video, when do you think that you would be able to watch it? That's one way that the conversation can go. Another way that the conversation could go, it could be, well, what do you do? What is your business? And this is where a lot of people get stuck because they don't know what to say. I mean, what do you do? You tell people I'm in network marketing business or I'm recruiting or I'm in one of those, you know, those pyramid thingies. No, you're not gonna say that. So this is what I suggest. I suggest that you have an elevator pitch which is pretty much a one-liner that piques people's curiosity. It tells them a little bit about your business, but you don't have to tell people directly what you do. And the reason being is the more you tell people, the more questions that they have. And what you'll find is that you are doing an on-demand presentation right then and there. And if you're gonna go through doing all of that, answering questions, uh, give basically giving a presentation right then and there, then what's the purpose of the video? We like for our tools to do all of the talking. That way, whoever you're speaking with understands that there are tools and there's assistance and that they don't have to do everything themselves. So whatever it is that you do, that's what your prospect is going to think that they have to do. So like I said, this conversation can go two ways. And if the conversation goes the way of what do you do, then you wanna always make sure that you have a one-liner, like an elevator pitch that piques their curiosity. And from there, you should be able to flow into, you know, 
can I send you a 15 minute video that you can take a look at and watch? So of course, if they say, yes, sure, I definitely will take a look at it, then that's gonna move you into the follow-up portion. And this is where a lot of people, believe it or not, this is where they drop off. They're not very good at following up with their prospects. But if you're very good at following up with your prospects and going all the way to the end, you know, you have a very high chance of closing people when you follow through. So now you've opened up the follow-up portion where you need to now set a time. So the first thing you wanna say is, can you watch this video within the next 24 hours? That's what I like. And if they say, well, yes, I definitely can. I, I should be able to watch it tomorrow. I'm busy tonight, I can watch it tomorrow. Great, so if you watch it tomorrow, What's a good time for me to follow up with you? You want them to set those times so that they expect a call from you. So once you agree on a time, then you can say, great, I'm gonna put you in my calendar right now. That way I can follow up with you for the next day. So that's what you want. When you follow all the way through, now you're setting yourself up and that person to expect a phone call. So this is kind of like just a little simple version that I'm going through right now. I just wanted to give some tips tonight on how you can expose your prospects to your business. And this really does set you up for success because if you can do this over and over and over and over and over again, you're gonna find that you're gonna not only just increase your sales possibly, but you're also going to open yourself up to signing up more prospects. And so that's what you wanna do with this. So now if you wanna learn more about how to follow up for your network marketing business, I created a video right here that's called What's Your Follow-Up Plan? You may wanna check that out because oftentimes people tend to drop off at this portion. They're not following up with their prospects and they're not fully closing. And then they wonder why their business isn't exploding. So make sure that you check that out. Now guys, these are just a few of the tips that I want to throw out here tonight to you. This is just a very simple version of what I do when I'm exposing people to my business. But one thing I want you to keep in mind is your posture and how you approach people. All right, guys, so I hope you got some value out of this video. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe, hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any future episodes because I'm constantly dropping videos every single week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.